Welcome to Seedprod, the best drag and drop WordPress website builder with over 1 million professionals who use Seedprod to create custom WordPress themes and page layouts. In this video, I'll show you how to create a single post template to help control the look and feel of your blog posts. Here at Seedprod, we have our own blog that we run and we have our blog posts here. If we go ahead and click on one, this will take us to a single blog post. And we're going to create a template for this today easily in Seedprod. So here we can see we have our featured image. We have a title for the blog post. We have a date the author name, and then the content below. Right now I have no template found. You can see that I have a test post here set up on a test website. If I come over to the WordPress dashboard, we can go under posts and all posts. And you can see that I have one test post here with a headline and some content in it. I added a couple categories as well as a featured image. If we come back, we already have Seedprod installed. If you need help with that, there's installation videos in our documentation and on the channel as well. We'll come over to Seedprod and Theme Builder, and we're gonna click on Theme Template Kits just to get a little bit of a head start here. Here we have a starter theme. Let's go ahead and click the check mark here to import these files. This will give us all of the basic files that we need. We have the single page, single post, the blog index, archive search, homepage, sidebar, footer, header, and the global CSS for our global styles. If it's not already enabled in the top right corner here, make sure you check this toggle on. And I'll come back to the blog post page here. And if we refresh, we have the starter theme single post template, which is controlling the look and feel of our blog post here. So this is a very basic design, but what if we didn't have one that was already installed? Let's go ahead, we have single post here and let's throw this in the trash. So to create one from scratch, what we do is click on add new theme template and we can go ahead and give this a name. I'll call mine single post custom. And for the type, let's go ahead and select. We want a single post. The priority doesn't matter unless you have multiple custom single post templates and you want to show them in different places with different priorities. For the conditions, I'm going to include this template on all posts. You can change this and customize this however you wish. And I'm going to click on save. This will bring us directly into the seed prod page builder where we can then create our layout for our blog post. So this one template will control the look and feel of every single post that we put on our website. The first thing we want to do is click here to create some type of layout. So let's add some columns and you have different choices here. So let's go with the classic. We'll have the larger size on the left and then a sidebar. So I'll click here and you can see that that adds that directly to our page. At the top left here, we can click here to go back to our blocks. And I'd like to show our featured image. This is the main image that we apply to that blog post. Right here, we have the featured image block that we can drag and drop right into our page. If we click on this, we can change some of the block settings on the left-hand side, such as the image size. We have some templates here for some pre-made styles that we can change quickly. And you have some advanced settings here as well. We can go ahead and add maybe a shadow if you like. And great, once you're happy, let's go to the next step. We'll click on blocks. And next we wanna add the post title. We can put that either above the image if you like or below it. And this is the title that we added to the blog post. Again, block settings here. You can change the different information. I'll align this to the left. You can change the font size if you like. And we have some advanced settings here as well. Let's go back to the blog settings. And next we have different options here. You could add maybe the post excerpt if you want. You have an author box with the image. You could completely customize this. The user that I'm using doesn't have that information filled out right now, but you could customize that quite easily. We have the post info. We can drop that right below here. This will show the author, the date, time, and the comments. And you click the block settings here to customize this. So for example, the time, I might hide that. And we can change the layout here so I can put more space between. We have the alignment. We have the divider, so either none or some other custom character if you wish. We have the text, the text color. If you want to use the icons or not, you can turn those on or off. And the icon color if you want a different color here. Great, we also have advanced options here for background, spacing, border, attributes, device visibility, and animation effects. Once you're happy, you can go to the next stage here under template tags and go ahead and add the post content. Let's just drop that in here and it'll put everything that we added into our blog post. This is the meat of your content. Again, same as the other blocks, you can click on block settings. You can change the alignment, the font size. We also have advanced options for topography, color, shadowing, spacing, and various attributes. If you like, you can add other blocks to this. For example, we could add a divider. Maybe put this under our main header here and we could customize this. We could change the width. You have the height here, the alignment. You can add an element if you like, for example, text, or you could put an icon and you can change the icon size here if you like. We can change the style here and the color. Maybe you want it a little bit more faint and you can fully customize this however you wish. You also have the advanced options as well. At the bottom, you can come down and of course you might want to add your post comments. Go ahead and drag this and put this down here. And again, you can customize this as well. Under your advanced options, you have background, spacing, border, attributes, and all of the other options here. I'll go ahead and duplicate this divider and I'll just drag it down. You can see that that separates our content here. On the right-hand side, we can add a sidebar. One way to do this is to use the template parts. 
we can drag this here and let's select the block settings from the drop down here we can select sidebar. This is one that was pre-made with this template that we imported earlier. We can select this right column here and we could go ahead and maybe change the background color. We could have this stand out just slightly from the left-hand side. You also have advanced options here as well. If you wanna add shadow, different color, spacing, borders, shape dividers, etc. So for example, for the shape divider, we get out on the top, you could do a tilt opacity and here we could change the color. Once you're happy with everything, let's go ahead and save this and we can exit out of here. Here we can come back to our blog post and if we refresh, we can see we have a fully customized blog post that we created and you can change this and update this however you wish. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit seedprod.com and check out our documentation page. If you require extra technical help, please feel free to contact our support team. Hey everybody, this is Chris from Seedprod. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel where I can show you how to create beautiful WordPress websites and landing pages by using our drag and drop page builder.